Okay, so in this question, an electron enters the region between two charged parallel plates, initially moving parallel to the plates. The electromagnetic force acting on the electron, option number A, causes the electron to decrease its horizontal speed, causes the electron to increase its horizontal speed, is parallel to the electric field lines and in the opposite direction to them and is perpendicular to the field direction. Okay. So first of all, we must first understand how the electric field is created and how is uh, it uh, acting in this space between the plates. So what happens is these two plates are charged plates, they are saying. So they have not shown the charging. So we have just assumed it. Let us say that this plate is positively charged. And this plate is negatively charged. Now, how is this achieved? These are two parallel plates, metallic parallel plates, conductors, simple plates. They are separated with an insulator that is air. And we are connecting these two plates with a battery. How is this done now? We are connecting it, let's say, with a battery like this. like this let us suppose so this is positively charged this is negatively charged so simple that this plate will get positively charged and the other plate will be negatively charged as a matter of fact electric field lines or the electric field always start with the positive charge and it always ends at the negative charge so and they are always perpendicular to the conductor surface so these plates are conductors so electric field will be like this these will be exactly straight lines. Please uh, forgive my drawing here. I will say like this. So all these lines are perfectly vertical and they are starting from positive. They are going towards the negative. Now the electron is coming like this. It is coming. It is entering into the electric field space uh, horizontally. Now the question is what kind of a force is acted upon the electron? So as a matter of fact, we know that force that will be acting on the charge is given by QE, F is equal to QE, and E will be the electric field that will start existing inside the plates, whatever it is. Q is the charge on the electron, and when this electron enters into this uh, field, obviously it will get attracted towards the positive plate because negative and positive they will attract each other negative and negative will repel each other so there will be a force on electron in upward direction towards positive charge so now we can see our options option number a the electromagnetic force causes the electron to decrease its horizontal speed not at all because the force electric force is acting perpendicular to the velocity vector so it will not have it will it cannot either increase neither it can increase nor it can decrease so a and b are wrong because the force is perpendicular velocity vector is horizontal force is vertical now see it is parallel to the electric field lines well yes exactly and in the opposite direction to them well, this seems to be correct because the electric field is in the downward direction and the force that is being experienced by the electron will be in the upward direction. So C option is correct. We will verify D also. The electric force is perpendicular to the direction of the field. Absolutely not. So this is also wrong. So the answer is C. Let us check the answer once. Yes, the answer is C. I hope this will be very, very clear to you. And what will be the trajectory of the electron, by the way? Because horizontal velocity will not neither decrease nor increase. It will keep on moving in the horizontal fashion like this. But because there is another force in the upward direction, it will, it will change the direction and it will go like this. It will exit the space at this point and then it will follow the straight line. So it will follow a parabolic path until it is out of the electric field. Afterwards, it will follow the straight line. So with this, all the best. Bye.